Film into Comics, Dune and 2010, A Space Odyssey. Special preview look at the Marvel Comics adaptation of this season's two most eagerly anticipated science fiction films. Right? That sting right there. Our Conan. Beautiful artwork by Bill Savinsky. Savinsky. The sun is not cooperating. A sand rider. Look at that. The worms of Arrakis. Teaser. Dune is a trademark of Dino De Laurentiis Corporation, a li and licensed by Merchandising Corporation of America Incorporated. Copyright 1984. Dino De Laurentiis Corporation. All rights reserved. 2010 is copyright 1984 MGM UA Universal Artists Entertainment Corporation. A sand rider. Oh, better make sure this guy doesn't slip. Outside, with the shields down, Arakin is vulnerable to the Harkonnen ships carrying the Emperor's Sartukar Legion. To adapt such highly successful novels as Frank, Frank Herbert's Dune and Arthur C. Clarke's 2010 Space Odyssey, two filmmakers had to deal not only with satisfying the expectations of a previously established audience, but with discovering visual translations for the depth and scope allowed in a work of prose. To convert the films into comics marvel's creative team faced similar problems they had to convey the experience and feel of each movie and at the same time create line art equivalent in a limited number of pages for several several hours of moving speaking visual images this involves writers editors and artists boiling the script down to key scenes and passages condensing and bridging dialogue and perhaps most important finding the right illustrative style to suit the given film though the final adaptations will be printed in full color we thought it might be interesting to demonstrate this sense of style by showing the art as it is originally done before color is added. My plan, the plan to crush the Atreides. I will have Arrakis back for myself. He who controls the spice controls the universe and we have controlled, control of someone who is very close to the Duke Leto. This person, this traitor, would be worth more to us than ten legions of our of uh, Sar Sardukar. I won't tell you who the traitor is or when we'll attack, but the Duke will die before these eyes, and know it is Baron Valdemir Harkonnen. 
who orchestrated his doom. As they explode everything in their path let's see if we can get the in the cause of Muadib forward death to the Harkonnens It was all so e so very easy. The traitor, your husband searched for in vain was Doctor Hugh. He was someone who trusted you trusted completely. Thus, it was a simple matter for him to drug the food and drink of your you and your young son making your capture a simple matter and then he he shut down the force field generators in the castle opening it to attack i of course followed after the palace had been subdued and that brings us to the present goodbye jessica and goodbye to your sweet young son Jessica, Benny Jesuit, that bore a son, Moadib. The sleeper must awaken. Located in the distant future light years away from our own world the environments of dune are solidly logically created by great, uh, greatly alien but greatly alien to what most of us know through convincing accumulation of detail in costumes and settings through carefully achieved special effects the film captures this uh, this this reinforcing it with this constant succession of images with the far fewer number of images a comics adaptation provides bill sikwinski sikwin sin which worked boldly and expression expression ex uh Expressious, expressistically, Oof. worked boldly and expressively, expressively building emotionally the movie's unique universe to portray the impact and intensity of what might be whole scenes and sequences. He employ, uh, employed deliberate exaggeration, reaching beyond what the actual makeup. And effects might indicate and drawing upon an acute sense of design he fully utilized mass and negative space to suggest dunes incredible landscape which with the story's underlying sense of ecology share almost the same importance as the characters which move within them
southeast over the shield wall that's where i told your sand master to concentrate his spice harvesting There's the mining facility below where there is spice and spice mining. There are always worms, Paul. To protect their territory, vibrations attract them. Dr. Kynes, will, will we see a worm? Paul asks. Why do they come? So the conversation should be I should read these in order there is the mining facility below dr. Kynes will we see a worm where there is spice and spice mining there are always worms Paul why do they come Paul asks to protect to protect their territory vibrations attract them important to read these in order and then that's the last page teaser for dune and then we get into 2010 space odyssey beautiful artwork there's the monolith right what is it one of the astronauts asks not even astronauts space folk i guess or astronauts 200 kilometers i am getting no radar echo 190 kilometers no later different considerations enter into the stylistic approach to 2010 as with its predecessor pre the predecessor 2001 the story unfolds in a time which seems less far removed each moment the science and technology are reasonable extensions of what already exists and even much that doesn't doesn't is already established in our minds uh, from what we saw in the previous film all of this indicates a much more straightforward and literal interpretation there is grand grand grander and cosmic significance in 2010 but they are built up carefully to make them all the more believable when they come in the layouts of the Joe uh, Barney and Larry Hama and in the elaborate finishes and accomplishments accomplished ink some Tom Palmer there is the constant consideration of realistic detail and logical progression to accompany and enhance the scenes designed to stir and create wonder this white thing doesn't fall over let's do this 2010 right. I've left 60 messages for Chris 
play a tape every week for him I will transmit the first day I am awakened please don't forget I couldn't forget she says beautiful artwork look at the line work on here and the inks Look at that. Look at that. More so than 2001, human drama and emotions play a greater role in 2010. This gives Palmer's illustrative pen and brushwork further opportunity to make full play with lighting as well as with humanizing what might otherwise have become sterile photographic likeliness in the characters as with the filmmakers the creative teams on dune in 2010 have sought to find their own way of successfully expressing the experience of one medium in the form forms and format of another defining it with their own individual styles and hopefully making it something that along with reflecting the original offers a unique enjoyment on its own this month along with being able to see the films you you'll have a chance to find just how well these eff efforts turned out as well the adaptation of dune is written by ralph machi art by bill sequinski coloring by christy shield and lettering by joe rosen the adaptation of 2010 is written by j m uh, dematis layouts are by joe barney and larry hama finishes inks and coloring are by tom palmer and lettering by rick parker both projects are edited by Bob Budinsky and Jim Shooter is editor in chief. 